That sound, Jesus. <clears throat> it's all like... They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they, they do. must be Americans. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. That's really bad. I both died. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. It's more like me. Yeah, well, I, I do so eat. We better keep it down out of here. Look at the one trapped over there. Everett. Better Everett. Us, huh? What does that say? Everett's pharmacy. Oh. Hey. Oh shit. His brother. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. I they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. We should just get inside. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Fine. Let's just go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. One of the decals. I'm Let's see. Just try to. I'm right there. That's six feet. Six. Six. Six feet and two inches. Yeah. Pretty tall. Which means she's, she's like. <clears throat> she's quite short. Not giving you that, Jesus. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know... Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Icon. I've heard of that brand. It's a popular brand. Yes. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. What a new. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You know... I don't... Well, you're not talking about one of those wind-up ones. If it was a wind-up one, there'd be a knob to spin around, round, round, make a yee sound, but it's not there. Check I, sh I should have checked in with her at four. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. 
So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Oh, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. That was enjoyable. So that was everyone, so I'm just gonna go to the office then. Looks like a turtle. Wife that looks like a raccoon. And the brother. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. She seems quite trustworthy, so I'm just going to take that chance. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. It's funny how when she talks, her hair bounces. It's the only thing I could... It always distracts me. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> that face she made. Jesus. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, 
Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. What does that mean? My family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, um, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. I'm surprised there's stuff still in there. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I just wish she knew that they weren't coming back. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. I'd still take something. Keys are on that zombie out on the street. Okay, nothing in here. Unless I want to put the bucket on my head, which I do, but I can't. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. 